Zias Caraval from ZK Research here, and I'm at the Worldwide Technology Stand inside the World of Solutions at Cisco Live 2023 in Las Vegas. And I'm joined by Eric Delalo. You are the Cisco UCS lead for Worldwide Tech. You're the technical guy. Maybe think of you as the uh, uh, Cisco compute guru. Is that a good way to think of you? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. probably a good way to put it. Okay, so we're going to be talking uh, obviously compute data center. Uh, before we get into product and some solutions. Uh, what's going on in that environment today? What's driving compute evolution in the data center today? Well, compute in general. Never stops, actually. Right? Yeah, yeah, customers yeah. are still having data centers on premises. They're still buying servers. They're still buying processors. They still need you know, heating and cooling. Uh, that aspect has not gone away no matter the cloud journey the customer is on. So that's kind of where we fit in, where, where that customer is still bringing compute infrastructure inside their own data centers. Yeah. Um, and you know, the workloads are very uh, vast. You know, everything from general virtualization to supercomputing, um, and everything kind of in between. Yeah, it seems like there's actually uh, the more cloud we have, it seems like it's driving more use of on-prem data centers. It doesn't really look like if I look at shipment numbers from all the OEMs, nobody seems to be slowing down. Correct. Yeah. Um, most customers are some somewhere in the hybrid mode. Yeah. Um, you know, some on, some off premises. So. You know, we kind of just fill that need for whatever they need. Um, you know, that they that they manage um, as a as a as a uh, as a company. Yeah, and I think that's an important thing to note. The, for all the hype around cloud, uh, every customer I talk to, in fact, people have asked me, "Do I see a day where data centers go away and everything's in the cloud?" And my response is, "I'll be dead when that happens." So uh, we're 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 decades away from well, probably. That'll probably never happen, so uh, we all know how legacies tend to stick around. Now, uh, I do know that the compute demands, when I talk to the uh, chip manufacturers, you know, obviously they keep building faster and faster chips because the processing demands go up for accelerated computing and things. Uh, wh what do you see specifically in the data center? More containers, AI, machine learning? Or what are some of the trends we're seeing there? So all, all the things yeah. you mentioned, uh, they, uh, they're they really pushing the envelope on, on everything, which of course is increasing heating and cooling, and uh, and energy costs uh, across the board. So, um, you know, cu customers really are, are looking for a, a real dense solution um, to get kind of the more value uh, back from uh, the processing power uh, per rack. So you want to talk about the new uh, Cisco's recently, it's not, it's somewhat recent, the refresh on their, well, they're always refreshing the product line, but they do have a new line of servers, though. Can you talk about those? And sure, uh, the X-Series yeah. server uh, and the M7 rack mounts, uh, both in the M7 generation. There is a, a, a really good push right now to refresh the old and bring in the new. Uh, the new is not just your standard compute platform that, you, that you're used to with Cisco in the past, uh, you know, just over a decade or so. Uh, the new is bringing in new innovation. The X-Series chassis, the X9508, has a 10-year plus roadmap. Um, it's going to bring in things like liquid cooling, um, a, PS, uh, a PCIe uh, fabric, 400 gig, um, mm. a possible CXL fabric in the future, um, which gives a very, very strong, fast backplane to the uh, very dense compute inside of that chassis. So, uh, you know, so whatever your needs are in the next 10 years, Cisco has prepared for that with, with this very nice uh, roadmap. Now we can't talk data center without talking sustainability. There's not an ops manager I talked to today that's not, that's not absolutely top of mind. I know Cisco's gone through the effort of uh, designing their products with sustainability in mind, right? So it's not an afterthought anymore. Uh, can you talk about some of the attributes of the new Cisco uh, uh, compute hardware and how it addresses the sustainability? Sure. So Cisco's newest management platform, Cisco Intersight, uh, comes in three different types. They have a SaaS version, which is in the cloud. They have uh, two on-premises versions, which a private appliance and a connected appliance. So whatever your security needs in-house, uh, you can bring in Cisco Intersight. Any way customer wants to deploy it. Correct. And this, um, this software will um, create kind of an ecosystem for, for your compute uh, to manage it in a way where you have total control. So the X-Series chassis itself um, has innovations in the design uh, where the, the fans and the blades themselves have um, a ton of sensors um, constantly monitoring um, um, the heat um, and the power consumption and they can throttle up or down depending on what you're using that chassis for. You can also manually go in and, and change those. So you can, you can tone down the power, you can cap the power, you can tone down the fans. If, if they're too loud or they're you know, um, burning up too much power, 
Um, you can monitor all of these uh, within Cisco Intersight's dashboard, uh, but there's a dozen or so power policies within Intersight that have sustainability in mind that you can, uh, you can approach and you can customize to your own tailored needs uh, for, for that rack or for that data center. Yeah, I think one of the important points you brought up there is just the data involved. I, I saw a data point uh, the other day that 90% of businesses today have net zero goals, but only 10% can actually track their progress towards it. And part, the biggest issue is they just don't have the data, but it sounds like Intersight's actually given them that data. Correct. Yeah, yeah. And totally customizable dashboard that you can get in there and you can, you can uh, write your own APIs. If you have a team that writes APIs and you can scrape that information, put it in a dashboard up in front for executives or, or for the, the technical teams uh, to see real-time data, uh, real-time uh, power and cooling, uh, power consumption and cooling. So um, very unique in that aspect. Yeah. And, and again, sustainability um, was, was built into this product. So, uh, yeah, that, that's certainly good to see. I know, that, I know it's something Cisco for a while uh, has been talking about. It's a big part of the keynotes here as well. So now uh, I do want to ask you about your advanced technology center, the ATC that WWT has. If customers want to try the new Cisco hardware out without actually having to buy it, they can leverage, explain how they can use the ATC to do that. Absolutely, so we have, uh, we have labs for Cisco Intersight, showing off the X-Series, showing off the rack mounts. Uh, you can get in there, you can make a connection with your sales team or with individuals like myself. You can register for labs, you can do on-demand labs, but you can really test drive the systems, you can see how the console works, you can walk through a uh, scripted guide to see how it reacts and how uh, you might so uh, step by step it. guide correct yeah so yeah absolutely reach out on on the platform and make a connection and we can kind of give you the whole tour of the X series or the C series um, another thing I'd like to point out about the sustainability on the X series is it's a it's really a rack and a blade all in one so we with the X9508 chassis you can fit eight eight nodes inside and you know, you might not have to buy eight rack mounts now um, because the blades might fit your solution. And with the sustainability power options in Intersight, you can tone down, you can cap power, you can uh, enhance your cooling. And, you know, you, from that aspect, you know, you, you did save because you didn't uh, buy eight rack mounts. Yeah. Um, so it is really kind of between a... The more you blade. buy, the more you save. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of incentives too for, yeah. for that exact uh, thing for, for refresh. So if you have M4s, uh, Cisco... Uh, UCS B200 M4s, if you have the 6290, uh, 6248 or 6296 fabric interconnects, you should definitely talk to us. We have labs that can walk you through what that upgrade looks like. Um, with actual real equipment, we don't use emul emulators, we use the real equipment. We show you how to take those old ones out, put the new ones in, and you know, help, uh, help you be successful in your own uh, upgrade journey to, to the X platform. All right, well my key takeaways here is data, cent data centers aren't going away, they're evolving, need more compute power, but you can leverage worldwide technology and their ATC to help you try it out and see what it's going to do for your organization and close that gap towards sustainability. Is something that up right? Absolutely, thank you. So Eric, on behalf of Eric from uh, WWP, I'm CS Caravales from ZK Research saying thanks for watching.